In this video, we're going to take a look at working with the Tune Material in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the Space Pilot Tune.C4D scene. And in this scene, I have a bunch of objects, a little character here, a little Space Pilot guy. Uh, and all the materials in the scene are Tune materials with the exception of the glass on the helmet and also the eyes. So the glass is a specular material and the eyes is an emissive uh, diffuse material. So when working with Tune materials in Octane for Cinema 4D, you want to make sure that you have some Tune lights in the scene. So Tune lights are meant to be worked with the materials. So if I take a look at the scene, I do have uh, a standard Octane daylight set up to create the color in the sky. And also it's adding a little bit of kind of this uh, fog here. Uh, but the other lighting, the light that's cast in the shadows, uh, is a tune light. So if I turn off the tune light, it's a tune direction light, you see the shadows go away, and I get this kind of flat color shading created by the tune material. And if I turn off the octane daylight, I just have this gray scene with flat materials. So if I turn tune directional back on, you can see the highlights on the surface plus the shadows. So let's turn this off for the moment, and I'm going to add a new light to the scene. I'll choose Objects. Tune lights, tune point light. So let's grab that point light and put it in front of our little space pilot guy here. And you can see the way it's casting shadows into the scene. It's a different type of shadow than we get from the directional light because it's coming from just a single point in the scene. Most of the settings for the lights are similar to the other lights that you use with Octane. So if I select Tune Point Light, you can see I can set it to black body or texture. Then I have a power, and power doesn't do a whole lot because most of the diffuse lighting is actually coming through the material. But it does cause the shadows to, to be cast correctly onto the other surfaces that also have tune materials applied to them. So let's hide this for a second. Let's turn our Tune Directional Light back on. So let's go into the node editor. So materials, octane node editor. And you can see you have the power station tune material set up here. But what I'm going to do is let's take a look at the body tune material. So this is the material that's applied to the arms, torso, legs, and feet of this guy. And I'm going to create a new tune material. So I'll create a new Octane material, and in its basic settings, I will set it to Tune, and let's apply it to the torso. I'm going to select the torso here and choose Apply to Objects, and then we can see we have this white Tune material here. Okay. So we do have a diffuse settings, so I can change the color here. We have the saturation and just change to a flat color. So that's not that uh, shockingly different. Most of the settings that are related to achieving this kind of cartoonish look are found in the tune settings right here. So we have a lighting mode. We can either use the tune lights, which I've already explained, or we can set this to camera light, meaning that the direction of the lighting comes from the camera view rather than the lights in the scene. So that could make it even look more illustrative and less realistic. Let's set this back to tune lights. We also have ramps that we can add. So I'm gonna add a diffuse tune ramp by clicking on this button right here, and then I'll select this ramp node and this is going to control the amount of diffuse reflection on the surface. So it's still going to be light green, but if I add a couple colors here, so I'm going to set this one to black and this one to white, you can see as I move these up and down, how it's changing the amount of diffuse reflection we get off the surface. So maybe I'll set this to kind of a gray and we get this kind of look. And then we have a similar option for specular highlights. I can choose to add a specular tune ramp. And let's go into the roughness settings here 
and move the roughness up a little bit so that we can actually see the specular highlights. Now I'll go back to Tune Ramp and add a color by clicking on it. Let's make this kind of a greenish color. And we'll make this kind of greenish yellow. We get this kind of stylized look. We can also change the interpolation of the ramp if we want to have it linear or cubic or constant. So you can see that the way that it changes the look of the highlights on the surface. And then most of the other settings are similar to what you find in other materials. Uh, so I have some textures up here already in the scene. So I'm going to connect the diffuse texture that I already have set to the body tune material to the diffuse input of this material. And you can see it shows up on the surface here. And same with roughness. I'm going to connect the roughness here and the normal. It's going to look a little bit different, obviously, because I have different settings for the uh, diffuse and specular ramps. And I'll kick that into normal. And then, of course, the other important setting is the outline color. So if I select on this, go to Tune, you can see we have an input for outline thickness and outline color. So I'm going to create an RGB spectrum node and connect it to outline color. And the default color is white, so you can see we have this weird, eerie white outline here. Um, if I go into the material under Tune, I can change the thickness. So if I want to make this look more like a drawing, I'll set it to darker color. Bring the saturation a little bit. Make it like a dark green. So that's the basics of working with the Tune material in Octane for Cinema 4D.